Stephen Naryoff, a prominent cryptocurrency advisor and advocate, has made a shocking allegation regarding the infamous speech by William Hinman, former director of SEC's Corporation Finance. In a recent X post, popular XRP community member Digital Asset B shared a document relating to a meeting held at the SEC that allegedly birthed the controversial Hinman speech. According to the document, a meeting was scheduled on March 28, 2018, between some top crypto stakeholders and SEC's corporation finance staff. Notably, Digital Asset B described the meeting as the presentation that gave Ethereum the free pass speech. Recall that Hinman declared Ethereum and Bitcoin as not securities during his infamous speech on June 14, 2018. The speech, which has stirred major debate since the beginning of the SEC vs. Ripple lawsuit, is described by many as the Ethereum free pass. Reacting to Digital Asset B's tweet, Naryoff stated that the date of Hinman's speech shall live in infamy. Naryoff, an early Ethereum advisor, noted that the main motive behind Hinman's infamous speech is being concealed. Wait until you see what else happened this day to silence me and cover up their sins, he added. He said, they're hiding more than the motives behind the speech. It is worth mentioning that the FBI charged Naryoff with alleged extortion in 2019. However, the authorities dropped the case in May 2023. Four months after the case was withdrawn, Naryoff alleged that the FBI targeted him due to his knowledge of Ethereum ICO. He noted that the plot also involved other top government agencies, including the SEC and the Justice Department. Meanwhile, debate regarding him and speech was ignited within the crypto community following Empower Oversight's recent FOIA request. Per an announcement yesterday, Empower Oversight said it had submitted a new FOIA seeking communications between former SEC Chair Jay Clayton and others regarding crypto. Empower Oversight's new FOIA submission is focused on the SEC's improper handling of crypto enforcement during Clayton's tenure. The request stems from Clayton's statements regarding Bitcoin and other senior official statements on Ether suggesting that they were not securities subject to SEC enforcement jurisdiction, only to have the SEC file suit as Clayton was leaving the agency against Ripple related to another cryptocurrency, XRP, alleging that it was a security, an excerpt of the announcement read. Furthermore, Empower Oversight mentioned that Clayton later joined One River Management, a hedge fund focused on Bitcoin and Ethereum, after he left the SEC. Expectedly, the development stirred reactions, with XRP enthusiasts raising issues regarding potential corruption within the SEC. Commenting on the development, pro-XRP lawyer Bill Morgan said Empower Oversight gave a perfect summary of Clayton's conflict of interest. In addition, attorney John Deaton, the lawyer representing thousands of XRP holders in the Ripple lawsuit, pointed out that Clayton was the only SEC commissioner who read the draft of Hinman's speech before it was given at Yahoo Finance's all-market summit. According to Deaton, Hinman never sent a copy of the biggest speech in the crypto industry to SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce, popularly called Crypto Mom. Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. Popular crypto exchange OKX has published its latest poor report for September 2023. The latest audit reveals that as of September 19th, the exchange held a balance of over $11.2 billion worth of digital assets, including XRP. The audit, which covers 22 of the most widely used assets on the platform, seeks to reassure users that OKX maintains a reserve that exceeds user deposits. This practice has become commonplace among centralized cryptocurrency exchanges in the wake of the FTX collapse, which was linked to a misappropriation of user deposits. OKX's latest pour is the 11th consecutive audit published by the exchange, with user assets exceeding a 100% collateralization ratio throughout the period. Among other assets, the audit shows that OKX user wallets hold 173 million XRP, $86.7 million, while the exchange maintains a balance of 178 million XRP, $89 million. The latest numbers mean that OKX collateralizes users' XRP deposits at a 103% ratio. OKX also disclosed the collateralization ratio for its BTC and Ethereum holdings, which are 102% and 103%, respectively. While users on the exchange hold 142,635 Bitcoin, $3.73 billion, OKX's Bitcoin holdings on the exchange and on third-party custodians number 146,194 BTC, $3.83 billion. 
For Ethereum, OKX users have 1,370,900 Ethereum, $2.17 billion, while the exchange maintains a balance of 1,400,000, $2.2 billion. OKX also holds sufficient reserves for its stablecoin deposits, with Tether, USDT, and USDC deposits being collateralized at 103% and 109%, respectively. Meanwhile, the latest poor also show that XRP represents OKX's fifth largest crypto holdings in USD value, trailing only Bitcoin, Ethereum, OKB, and Dogecoin, excluding stablecoins. This rating shows sustained user interest in XRP despite concerns that the project's ongoing lawsuit with the US SEC will linger for a while. Furthermore, Ripple Labs CEO Brad Garlinghouse has recently added another prominent lawyer to his legal team amid the ongoing SEC lawsuit. In a tweet yesterday, ProXRP lawyer James K. Fillon reported that attorney Rahul Mukhi of Cleary Gottlieb Steen and Hamilton LLP officially filed an appearance to represent Ripple CEO in the lawsuit. Please take notice that Rahul Mukhi of the law firm Cleary Gottlieb Steen and Hamilton LLP hereby appears in the SEC v. Ripple action as counsel for defendant Bradley Garlinghouse, an excerpt of the filing read. It bears mentioning that attorney Mukhi is a prominent lawyer, leading multiple cases relating to international organized crime, public corruption, money laundering, and cybercrime. He specializes in securities, criminal, and regulatory cases. It is interesting to note that attorney Mookie has significant experience in jury trials. According to his profile on Cleary Gottlieb, Mookie conducted 10 trials while he worked as an assistant attorney in the Southern District of New York. Notably, Mookie's experience in jury trials will come in handy as Ripple CEO gears up for the upcoming trial in the SEC case. Recall that the court scheduled SEC's case against Garlinghouse and Ripple Chairman Chris Larson for trial. The proceeding is expected to commence by Q2 2024, and the parties have already submitted their blackout dates. The SEC filed aiding and abetting charges against Ripple execs, alleging that they were reckless in allowing the blockchain company to distribute XRP as an unregistered security. A federal court had already ruled that XRP itself is not a security. The court also declared that most of Ripple's transactions, including programmatic sales of XRP, do not constitute investment contracts. Despite the ruling, Garlinghouse is hoping to seal another victory in the upcoming trial, scheduled for Q2 2024. While Garlinghouse is preparing for the upcoming trial, the SEC, on the other hand, is seeking an interlocutory appeal. Furthermore, the SEC also requested a stay of other issues related to the lawsuit, including the trial, pending the resolution of the interlocutory appeal. The court has yet to issue its decision on the SEC's request for an interlocutory appeal and stay of other proceedings. Meanwhile, the development comes over a month after two lawyers from the same law firm also filed a notice of appearance to represent Garlinghouse in the legal tussle. Now to the big question of the day. How many XRP can earn you $1 million if XRP reaches previous highs of $1.80 and $3? Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. The logic behind this is that the current downturn presents an opportunity for market participants to procure XRP at discounted prices. As a result, several investors express eagerness in identifying the amount required at this point to make $1 million when XRP recovers previous highs. XRP had already demonstrated its ability to register massive gains when it soared to its all-time high of $3.40 in January 2018. After collapsing from the all-time high, XRP staged a recovery campaign that saw it reclaim the $1.80 price point in April 2021. Should the asset reclaim these past highs, investors would require less amounts of XRP to sit on $1 million investments. Notably, at a price of $1.80, 555,555 XRP tokens would be worth $1 million. Interestingly, these 555,555 XRP tokens are currently worth $278,055 at XRP's current price of $0.5005. Essentially, an investor would need to amass 555,555 XRP at today's price for $278,000 to secure $1 million if XRP ever recovers $1.80. Should the asset reclaim this price point, such holdings would witness a 259% return on investment. 
It is important to note that while XRP has delivered much higher returns in the past, previous successes do not guarantee future performance. The loftier price position, $3.40, would require less initial investment from investors looking to hit the $1 million mark. If XRP recovers the $3.40 all-time high, investors holding 294,117 XRP would be sitting on $1 million. Market participants seeking to accumulate these 294k XRP tokens at current prices must commit $147,205. Should the $3.40 price come into play, the rate of appreciation would sit at 579%, much lower than XRP's appreciation rate from late 2017 to January 2018. However, despite the previous surges, investors remain uncertain of XRP's next price direction. Amid these uncertainties, analysts have made bullish forecasts. One chartist Egreg asserted that XRP could hit $1.40 in the foreseeable future. So we come to the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.